Hello, I wanted to talk to you about mental health. Everybody I know has suffered mentally in some form of another in their lifetime. You know, and I think it's not unusual. It's not as unusual as you think. It's just now we can talk about it. So I think don't be scared to talk about it. You know, if someone says that they've never experienced mental health issues, they're fucking lying or they're a robot. You know, everybody I know has. And I think one of the tendencies that I personally do is, um, is I isolate and I get really like introverted and I don't want to speak to anyone. I feel like the world is small, small. It's just my flat. I don't want to be the social gregarious person that I am naturally. I just want to sit on my own and eat pizza and watch Game of Thrones, although not this latest season. In a previous life, if I ever felt fear or anxiety or discomfort, I'd get wasted, right? And I'm British, some of you are British. That is our culture, to get fucked up. Shove as many drugs in my body, shove as many drink in my body, because then I can shut this mind up. And any doubt and all the fear and all the uncomfortableness of life will shut the fuck up for a moment. It will shut up, because all I'm thinking about is going to the bar, stuffing my face in, flipping whatever. <laughs> um, and then in the morning, all I care about is pizza, X Factor, hangover. And that's two days when my mind shuts up for a moment. Then by the time I come through the other side, I'd hopefully have forgotten about the thing that made me anxious until the next time it comes around. Now I'm sober, I have to sit through all of that soberly. And it's a fucking nightmare. It's horrific. But I have started to develop techniques to help me through those times. Right? First up, call a friend, man. You know, the likelihood is they're in a great place and they want to help you or they're also in a bad place and you can be in a bad place together because you can both talk each other out of it and be there to support each other. Sometimes connecting with another person in an authentic manner is all you need to drive yourself out of it. And I'm not talking about Instagram and YouTube and all that shit. That stuff is not healthy, right? That is not real life. Some dude in Arizona liking your picture from the other night is not real life unless he drives to your place or flies to your place and sits outside and stalks you which i hope never happens but that's not real life right if you are feeling like all that shit is making you feel bad delete the apps you know what we did all right without them pre-instagram you know we lived without instagram guys and also like i don't want to scare the millennials watching this but we lived without mobile phones there is a life, you can do it. Just do it for a little bit. Maybe you can find a workaround. Just upload your flipping memes via a desktop memes. There's technological ways. There's no need for you to be refreshing that feed, stalking your ex, looking for pussy up 200 times a day, right? There's just no need. That is not a way to live your life. <sighs> also, ladies, I need to have a little bit of a quiet word because like a couple of months ago, I was walking around and I was feeling fucking suicidal-ish. Like suicidal, but like too lazy to do it. Genuinely walking into rooms going, how are you? I feel like killing myself. Oh, okay, right. That was people, I mean, not everybody wants to, I mean, it's not the place, you know, like walking into McDonald's is not the place to be doing it, but I just had to get it out there. I had to tell people. I'm an oversharer a little bit. And I had to tell people, but I was lucky because one by one, women kept asking me, what contraception are you on, Eleanor? And as it happened, I just got some hormonal contraception, um, an implant put in, and it's, it had affected me, like 100%, like the, the day it was taken out, I, could, I felt better. Like the next day I had the heaviest period I'd had in three months. Like it is not natural to put that stuff in your body. Within 24 hours, I was pretty much back to normal. No suicidal thoughts, upbeat, chirpy, full of it. And so I just say, you know, like, just be mindful of that, ladies. I'm not a doctor, but just I just want to share my experience around that, that it can have a bad effect on some females. So look, I think, just to summarise, I think just share how you're feeling with someone that, you know, you care about and be honest. There's no, no need to be, there's no need to be embarrassed about being honest, about feeling shit. And just remember, just put some action in, go for a walk, put the action, like treat, like trick your body into um, thinking it's feeling better. And then hopefully your mind will follow. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
Happy Mental Awareness Week, everyone. Keep safe.